Alright everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the cooking pot to make the useful Rockwell recipes that are found in caves and stuff on mobs and whatever. So what you're going to want to do first is make sure you have a fuel that doesn't burn with charcoal. Now wood obviously burns and forms charcoal and if you've got berries in the recipe then it'll just form dyes and stuff which is absolutely useless and pointless. So use either spark powder or thatch. I like using the thatch more because we obviously with preserving bins in it's just a better use to use the spark powder for the preserving bin and then use the thatch for the like this doing stuff like this so i'm just going to get all this stuff together for a lazarus chowder now if you i'll put the links to the forms in the description below so you can actually see exactly what you need now every time it mentions meat because it says um sermons have cooked meat obviously make sure it's cooked because i've done that before where i've put raw meat in which is just a bit pointless and it won't work and you stood around for ages Right, now something to be mindful of is some of the crops that you're going to be asked for in the recipes, like long grass or savaru or um, citrus fruit, it's obviously you don't actually pick them up when you're harvesting um, stuff outside or with a, on a mammoth or something. So you need to actually grow it like I've done here. And uh, if you want to see a video on like how to actually farm stuff, then just put a comment in the description. But... The problem is, as soon as you take something out of this, it's... Ah, oh, there isn't anything in this, but it lasts for about 12 hours or something ridiculous when it's grown. As soon as you take it out, it lasts for three minutes. It goes off so quickly. Now, I've actually took stuff out of there so it would grow and put it in a preserving bin, where it still lasts for... Well, it lasts for 40 minutes, but that's still quite a short time. So you can see these are both on about 40 minutes. If I take it out, it just goes straight down to 3 minutes. So you need to be really quick when you do this. So I'm going to quickly run back over to the cooking pot. Now I found the way to get the best results with this is to put things in the order that they appear in the recipe. So in the actual inventory of the cooking pot, you want to have your fuel, so either thatch or spark powder, uh, the recipe itself, and then just follow what it says. So it says cooked meat first, so I'm going to chuck that in. Uh, I don't know what I've just done with it, there we are, I'm going to chuck the cooked meat in. Move it up to the correct position once you've done that. Then it's got uh, sav root and long grass, so you just chuck it in to start with and then move it to the correct position and then after that it has a handful of berries so move that back down and after that it's the narcotic so move that there and then you have the water last now the water this won't work because it's less than 25 percent full so you need to go fill it up somewhere first before you can even cook anything So now that I've filled up my water skin, I can drop it in here and light the fire. Now, these recipes do take quite a lot of time, and on a lot of the forms, it's, com it's set in wood, so it takes like four pieces of wood to burn before it creates the recipe. And I think it takes about a minute and a half, roughly, for each recipe, but that's just a rough estimate. Whilst this is cooking, a useful thing to know is that it takes roughly five hours for a recipe to spoil. And uh, if you put them in a, a dinosaur, just like any saddle, like whether it be herbivore or a carnivore, that extends to 20 hours. And I think in a preserving bin, it lasts for two days. Now we can see here, it's just produced the Lazarus chowder. And if I just take it into my inventory, it, it does last for quite a while, it lasts for five hours. Um, and yeah, so if you just want to chuck them in preserved mints or fridges or whatever you have, then it's probably a good idea because you're going to want to stockpile these before you go out uh, underwater cave and whatever and in case you didn't know the reason why Lazarus Chowder is the most useful in my opinion is because it, it allows you to hold your breath for 15 minutes underwater which is incredibly useful when you're actually doing caves and stuff that are underwater or like trying to tame things underwater like megalodons or whatever so I hope this video has helped if you've got any questions just drop a comment below and I'll try and answer them yeah so that is these are just the techniques that I found to be the most effective at cooking stuff